even have like a script or nothing. We just we just roll off the top with this thing, man. Chat captions. This is not. Long. Try to give people like a second to tune in, you know. I know it's like awkward, like just staring at it, like okay, just <laughs> waiting for uh. But I'm gonna two seconds. Right, thirty-three. I'm gonna share this story. Yeah, this is what we do. We're just weird, you know. Just talking amongst ourselves. You know how we do it. Holy static, Batman. Actually, that's just talking amongst ourselves. Awesome. You know how we do it. I think it's that. Holy static, Batman. Actually, that's just talking amongst can you hit ourselves. The, can you actually turn that off? I think it's that. Holy static, Batman. Dang it, that wasn't it. Oh well. <laughs> oh, I'm like, yo, why is there so much like feedback and replay? Because I'm an idiot. Because it's playing off of that, then playing off of that, then playing back into that, then playing back into that. Because I'm freaking smart. And then I'm like, oh, who's watching? You got one person watching. Yeah, it's us. Anyways, let's share this real quick and then we'll get rolling. Because we're cool kids. All right, well, let's get this thing started. Whoever's whoever's here, whoever tunes in later on, it is what it is. What's going on, y'all? My name is Jay Faith, and this is Right Mind Wednesdays, where we sit down and just have conversations with people and just, you know, dish off different tips, tricks, and tools, whether it's music, financial literacy, uh, mental health, or fitness, um, and just trying to share the wealth and try to spread it with other people. Uh, make sure if you haven't already, make sure you follow Right Mind on social media, W R T M N D. So Right Mind without any vowels. Uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Make sure you, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Show some love. Share everything, please. Um, I think this is very valuable information that we can give to other people. I apologize that it is so dark. Um, we are currently in the minds of one collective genius studio where we like to set the ambiance and have it dark and just create a mood and a vibe now so what you all have been waiting for i apologize for the late start i'm going to flip my hat back so you can actually see my face apologize for the late start we had some technical difficulties but you know that's just how it goes with everything um today i would like to introduce my guest um he is a member like myself of minds of one collective genius um an amazing phenomenal mc as well as singer among a lot of other different things that we're going to get into today and talk about chat about um he goes by the name of life what's going on life hey what's up everybody i'm pretty good how about you not too bad man um thanks for coming in i know we were kind of having a little meeting as well i'm going to talk about some things later on mm -hmm. but um Definitely wanted to have you on the show and just share some of the things that you've kind of dealt with, not only with music, but, um, you know, you're heavy into fitness. Um, you've picked up photography as well, not picked up, but you've, you know, you've kind of gotten a little more active with the photography, among other things. So definitely wanted to share kind of some of your experiences, things that you've kind of dealt with as far as that goes, how you know, maybe fitness has helped you with your music career, vice versa. And, you know, just have a simple conversation. And for those of you that are tuning in, this is actually the first, since we've started Right Mind Wednesdays, this is actually the first in-person one that we've had. So...
we win. Like, what is, like, what, I guess we'll start with the basics to kind of fill people in. Like, what, like, how did you get into the music, music scene, like, music? Like, what kind of led you to be like, I think I want to be a rapper. But also, kind of touch on the, the singing part of it, because I think that's yes. such a dope combination to have. I can't sing for Jack, so... To, to be able to have that lethal combination, I think is super dope. So like, how did that like transpire, you know, for yourself? Yeah, you know, like, I, it's, it's funny, like I started singing when I was like six years old, six years old. So like, I mean, I started like singing like way before rap, but like, like rap has much more of an edge to it. Um, I started like writing music when I was like 17. I didn't know that I wanted to take it serious. I just like, you know, played around with yeah. it and stuff like that. <laughs> um, and you know, I, I wanted to. I always wanted to do do something with with my singing voice and everything. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, you know, I after high school, I did like a a year of college. Like I went for like business. I did, I I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> School's not <laughs> it for horrible. everyone. Yeah. It's not for everyone. Yeah. Um, but like a, after that, I, I I picked up the pen again, started writing, sh showed you know, what I was writing to all my friends and stuff like that, and. They were, they were fucking with it heavy, so I'm like, yo, I, I could really do this. So, yeah, yeah. I, I, just, I just took it from there, and I've, I've been doing it ever since. I, I'm 28 years old right now. Um, I've been, you know, consistently writing and recording since I was 19 years old. So, you know, we're trying to keep it going. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, I, I remember, like, when I went through, like, I, I went through college, and, like, it's, it's, like, it's cool to see, to hear, like, people's experiences, like, versus like what other people do like me like not to like i'm not trying to like crap on you like i went to college like i did the four years i did the whole i did the whole college experience so it's like cool to see like how people like take dealing with college versus like not college and like how they've kind of grown into into music like what were like like who were some of the people that like really like inspired you to like be like like just help you to get better like really like motivated you to create music would yeah. you say like who would you say like kind of like push you into like as far as like in the music industry already mm -hmm. yeah i mean i started listening to like hip-hop and everything like i started to like dive like, like really deep into it and um i started to like just discover art like other artists that i've never heard of before like you know Childish gambino at the time mm -hmm. like mm -hmm hearing him rap and like hearing like other artists that were like super super hungry i'm like holy shit like i i i want to do this shit you know what i mean yeah. so it, it hyped me up and you know i i'm i'm influenced influenced off of like jay-z eminem you know kanye yeah. seeing them do do what they were doing like i wanted to be a part of that like with my own crafts and everything so you know like i was already writing at the time so i just figured hey like you know it just took a hold of me yeah just keep it going man yeah yeah it's like it's it's i, I always love hearing like how like who inspires people because you you you. i don't think you'll ever really get the same answer consecutively from people right you know what i'm saying like me like like i grew up listening to super super mainstream like and i'm talking like backstreet boys to britney spears to think in sync yeah. to to nelly like anything that was on the radio that's what i listened to yeah and that's like so it's like for for me like in like the song that i wrote in my lap like hip-hop literally fell into my lap because like again if you look at like my background like i grew up listening to like bg's air supply like that is like nowhere near hip-hop whatsoever so it, for me it took me a long time to like dive into really like figuring out like what hip hop is, you know, so it's always cool to just hear like how people get inspired into music and, you know, so on and so forth. Right, so like, yeah. like, what do you think as far as like the, the initial come up with hip hop and music and your own career, like, what do you think were some of the bigger challenges that you like to share that you know, really helped like shape you into the artist that you are today and like, like what you can give other people to be like, you know, like, here's some advice on 
you know, some of the things that I went through to help, right. you know. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say, like, see, like, I, I recorded my first song. Um, it was actually, like, a, a remix of Ariana Grande's, um, oh, shit, what was it? The Way. Word. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I dropped that expecting, like, people, like, mad people to fuck with it, but, like, a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people were just, like, shit on it, you know what I mean? And it was, like, people that were close to me, too. Like, I, I took that as a, as a surprise, and it, like, yeah, it actually, like, affected me. Yeah. Um, and yeah i mean i just took any like negative criticism and just like use it as like motivation to keep going to really show that i can do this and you know it's something that i'm really passionate about and you know i i knew i could go far with it you know so yeah yeah it's not, like the first song is always the toughest yeah you know it's it's and, like it, it, especially since like um you know I've, I've always told people i wanted to be like a professional basketball player i wanted to Same. like <laughs> yeah i wanted to like play like basketball in college and stuff like that but like you know and once people found out that i wasn't going to finish school and i was going to like you know dive into music for like well not full time but like just like that i wanted like music as a career they, they took that as a, as, a, as a surprise like yo hold up what are you doing like you should be you know, doing this and that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. get a real job, this and that, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, my and my advice to you, you know, any of you watching is just, you know, if you have a passion, just no matter what anybody says, just keep going, you know? Just keep finding new ways to, you know, climb up the ladder. Yeah, I think, like, oh, I was going to say something else. I do this every time. But I think, like, the one of the biggest things that I've learned, too, is, is – for that like, especially that first song is to drop it like is definitely like advice is just to drop it but also like it's it's definitely hard to get that feedback from like especially like your friends especially yeah, like yeah. when they they don't receive it you're like dude this is the best song i've ever written right. yo check this out and they're like uh well they don't take you serious because like they don't yeah it oh i remember what i was gonna say too yeah. um but like like if you can if you especially like starting out like if you can surround yourself with like maybe like like like-minded people i'm just speaking in general and like get that criticism so like but like also like take it as a stepping stone like i think that we've all kind of like learned to receive in our careers is like when somebody like critique something like like really like listen to it yeah. and like take it Again, take everything with a grain of salt because some people are just like, oh, that song's trash, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's not really, to me, that's not really critique. If you just tell me the song is trash, like, that's not critique because maybe just music is not for you or, like, that specific song is not for you. I'd rather hear yeah. that it, it's not for me versus that song's trash. Yeah. Because then to me, like, when you, for, for me, when you tell me that song's, that the song is not for me, it tells me that you're not versed in maybe that type of, music to be able to have a biased opinion about it um so yeah just like that for that first song like whoever's watching this watching it later just drop the song like who cares what it sounds like i remember i made my first i tried to make a beat and recorded a song on garage band like that was my first song and it was terrible it was trash and then i remember my first lyrics i was talking about like getting money and like cars. I wanted to be a rough rider, like stupid. Like I look back at myself and I'm like, dude, I was such a loser. And I'm against like every, per everything that I wanted to be back then, you know, now. Yeah. Um, but the other thing I was going to say is, cause you had brought up like, you know, people taking you seriously. I was thinking about this the other day is like, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if you feel this way too. And like, people are like, Oh, like, what do you do? And then you're like, you know, oh, like I work, you know, for me, like I work, you know, I work with teens and, I'm a, and, and I make music. And then there's always that like follow up question. Oh, did you play an instrument or is it, it always for me? That's always, I guess, for people that aren't as like heavy into music and just like the casual listener that is like, it's always like an awkward conversation to yeah. like have because then you're like, you're like, oh, I make music, but then you get those people that are like, oh, what instruments do you play? Well, I don't play play instrument. Like, right. I, I rap. And then they're like, and then, like, you just feel yeah. the conversation turn mm -hmm. into something. Like, I don't know if that's just me. No, yeah, yeah that, that's happened to me, too. I mean, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> 
it's like it's 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 like weird like i think people just have still have this like weird stigmatism about like when you just say like oh i'm a rapper and then it's like i don't know like to me like i, I still feel like some people don't consider it like music maybe in a sense you know like when they when people hear music to like oh like, or i should say i make music People instantly think, "Oh, like you, you, you have to play an instrument, right? You, you must be in a band or something." You know what yeah, I mean? and it's like, no, like I can still make music and yeah. and 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 not play an instrument. Not right. that, you know, I, I've always wanted to like, I've always wanted to play the drums, piano, um, guitar. Like I've always wanted to pick those up. Yeah, uh, I just it's just finding the time. Right. Yeah. It. And like, there's a, there's a, a big difference between like the listener and like you know the artist and like having them like be deep in it like when when like when i like explain like everything i do and everything you know mm -hmm. what i mean like some people just don't understand it you know what i mean they don't understand like the artist side of, of things and like what actually like actually like goes into it but yeah for sure like i think yeah they hear they just hear like rapper and then they're like oh okay but like there's so much that just goes into being a rapper yeah. let alone a musician and a, a singer which is a, another combination and then like you know like a, a, a rapper producer and engineer and then rapper you know whatever like the list can go on and on and yeah. on but like just being an artist like there's so much that goes into it especially when you're doing it yourself yeah like you got marketing you got like not even like just the creation of music, but like you also have to like build a brand around it, right? Market it, promote it, get everything, you know the business side of it. Like, yeah. there's so much more to it that people just don't that the casual listener just doesn't understand, right? Exactly. Um, and that's what we're trying to do here is just kind of share that information, just let people know, like, just because we say rapper, ask us a little bit more about what that means to us right because for for the people that are are truly invested in this there's definitely more to it right um you know when it when it comes down to it now do you play in you play instruments too right yeah i i play guitar i mean i i picked it up when i was like 10 but then i like i just like fractured my finger <laughs> dang yeah I, I, I was doing lessons i fractured my finger i couldn't play for a while and then i just like didn't pick it up until i was like 15 and then i like I still have my chord book and I just picked that up and just taught myself how to play guitar. Um, I also play like a little bit of piano, a little bit of drums too. Yeah. Drums is tough. Like yeah. my brain, my brain doesn't function for drums hmm. as much as I love. I think like minus, minus the violin and, and the electric guitar drums is probably one of my favorite, most favorite instruments. Just the sound of it, yeah. like especially live, like I oh, love yeah. live drum. But like my brain just doesn't work because my brain works in in like patterns and functions yeah. in a specific order. But then like when when you want me to like hit the snare, I don't even know like the drum names, but like <laughs> hit one drum over here and then the another one over here, the hi hat. But then you also want me to stomp my foot. Right. on the bait you know yeah there's, there's, there's a lot going on you know what i'm saying you gotta you gotta like have the timing right with this and you gotta like oh, hit that, and then you gotta go right here and then come back you know what i mean it drives me crazy like i was like i i, I did like the youtube like tutorials and like trying to learn and like i got to that like you know just like multiple things going on at once and my brain was just like nah dude <laughs> like I, but i think it's just you know just a retraining yeah. retraining type of thing and you know just retraining the brain so muscle memory that, yeah. that's the biggest thing with drums or just any instrument instrument really you know Facts. especially your voice you know what i'm saying like yeah your voice is an, an instrument too so fucking yeah for sure i mean like especially like i remember when i i used to do piano and i remember i would remember i wouldn't remember the notes i couldn't remember notes for the life of me but i would just remember where my fingers were the gonna life be of me. Ha. facts <laughs> facts i i would always remember where 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 my hands would be and that's what i would memorize it was never it was never like a b c you know whatever combination whatever it was always just okay like at this point like this is where my fingers are supposed to be 
and that was it. Again, like it's just I, I think I'm just more of a visual person. Yeah. Than anything. Um, so that's dope. That's dope. I I wish I could play music. So singer. So like how like. So now we have so we have MC and then we have singer, and like. How do you feel that that's helps like in like the creation of your music, as far as like you know. As far as singing and you know, and just being like a bringing that, like as far as like bringing that all together. Yeah, and just bringing it all together. Um, I I, I listen to a whole lot of different music. So any like, challenges whatever. with that too? Um, you know that, that I mean, there was a time where like I was out of practice with singing, so like I had to like get my voice back. Um, I started like singing in a choir when I was like in first grade. I did that up until eighth grade, and then like all through high school, I just, I just, just like stopped singing because I I didn't. You know, I, I didn't know that I wanted to do this, like, pursue this as a career, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I, I came back to it, and I was like, holy shit, like, I, I, I don't know. Like, after a while, like, you just kind of, like, lose the, te the technique. You kind of, like, forget how to do it, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, I had to, like, get that back. <clears throat> um, but, yeah, um, I just rock with whatever comes to me. It, like, it, like it, if I want to sing in a certain song, you know, I'll just, you know, bring that out mostly. Um, I just, like, use my skills to my advantage and whatever comes out, comes out. You know what I mean? I just, like, like let it free flow. Yeah, because, like, every time I remember, like, in the early stages of, like, us making music and, like, just hearing you making music, like, with other people, it was always, like, like you you would just get the hooks yeah like it, i like you just be like all right here's a beat and then like instantly like within like a day like there was a hook just like right back with it mm -hmm. and it was just like it was a lot of people can't do that and you know i again like you said with like the technique of, of everything like yeah. I can't imagine, like, I mean, I try to work on my, my singing. I try to practice, like, you know, vocal control and, like, finding where my range is and stuff like that. Yeah. But, like, I I have to feel, maybe I'm wrong, like, to, to not only, like, have, like, the vocal singing, but then also to, like, bounce back into, like, kind of the rapping voice, which is, like, another aspect to it too it's like a whole different world because like not only like you working with like the pitch as far as like singing but then now you have to like especially like for you and how fast you can rap having the vocal control for that as well too which is a, i think a different type of vocal control so yeah. like to like bounce back and forth with that yeah um is there like are, are there like sometimes where you're like mm, like like challenges with that as far as like bouncing in between like what if what is there anything like you've done that has helped you to like be able to manage kind of bouncing between those two two styles um if if there's anything or yeah just, i mean i don't really think about it too much you know what i mean i just like well at this point he's just a master at it so it's yeah. just <laughs> it's just natural for him so you know <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I can't really explain it. It just, you know, shit happens. I guess. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. No, I feel you. I feel you. Um, yeah, man. So, so we got how many? How many projects are you at now? Like, what do you? What do you have for projects? Uh, like upcoming or just like out now? Like, what do you have? What do you have out now? Um, I have a, um, a full length album and an yeah. EP. Full. Okay. Yeah. And then like the rest are all singles. Word. Yeah. So lemons. Yeah. And then on the rise. On the rise. Word, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. Word. You gotta put on. You gotta put lemons back on streaming, man. On well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm like looking for hope and like all these yeah. other songs, and I'm like, yo, like I just want to rock. Like out. I like but went. I, from, I went from Distro Kid to uh, United Masters. Word. Because like I mean I you know I wanted to like jump on the opportunities that they were presenting and everything. But it, I mean, it, it's not as powerful as district kid. And like, I don't know, it, it, district is easier to use, but like I had to like take everything down to, you know, put everything back up on United masters. Yeah. But I, I didn't like it after Ross. So I took everything from, from there. I had to like re upload it and uh, 
Um, Lemons is on every platform except for Apple and iTunes. Oh, okay. for, for, for some reason, it wouldn't take it, but... That's weird. Yeah. Because, like, I did... So, I had, you know, just sharing information. Because um, I had... So, I used to use TuneCore and then just pricing and everything because they, they do it by album or single. Yeah. So, like... You know when you start really and this is just me because i'm i'm broke is when you start like dropping albums and and singles and albums and singles and then like the renewal date like you have to pay that every year mm, yeah so then when you got like one album at the top of the month you know and then you got like three singles that you dropped like you know again over like a couple years you know it starts to add up yeah so i i switch from so with TuneCore, I I set it up where it didn't renew, but I kept the 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 the, the release date. So like I knew when it would when it would like cancel out, and then I once it once it removed itself from streaming, like I instantly went to distro, and you know you I know you know uh, distro like you can just set it up and be like put like previously released and you know this is the date that it released yeah. and it literally instantly like took it back up yeah so it's weird that 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 it it wouldn't take for apple music yeah you know and like let you redo it especially if you're like you re-uploaded it to um through distro yeah which is weird huh there, there may have been something that needed to be done that i didn't know about or whatever i don't know but you know either way it, yeah, you know, shit happens sometimes. Yeah, that's just is what it is. But check it out everywhere else. Spotify. Uh, what do you? Uh, there was another one. You have SoundCloud, right? Yeah, I got SoundCloud. Um, I haven't uploaded anything to SoundCloud in a while. There's, there's Audio Mac. Um, Audio Mac. Yeah, you know, awesome. Deezer, Amazon Music, uh, all that shit. Yeah. So, artist, MC, singer, also heavy into sports, fitness. Like how is how is that like impacted? Because like with right you know with right mind we're all about kind of connecting a lot of different things. We talk about mental health, music, fitness, financial literacy. Like how has like fitness kind of become a part? Like has it become a part of not only like who you are and like the brand, but like has it been become a part of like the brand like tied in with music at all? in any sort of way like how i mean i i i I wanted fitness to like be like a part of my brand like i i had like ideas for it but i mean i don't know it's just not like uh my lane you know what i'm saying i i just want to like stick like solely to the music because like you know i don't want to like juggle like a million different things at once you know what i'm saying facts but like you know i've always been athletic uh you know fit fitness has always been a part of my life in, in some way shape or form so i mean um I was a skinny kid. Like everyone told me, you'll eat. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I was tired of that. So like, you know, in eighth grade, I, I started like working out and you know, gained gained a lot of muscle, and yeah, just took it from there. Like me, like um, you know, fitness just uh <clears throat> helps me feel good mentally and phys- physically. You know. Dang, so, eighth grade. I yeah. don't. I think I didn't start. I like semi started lifting in high school. Because my basketball coach told me, and like the, I think the only thing that I remember is because mom was, I was just as skinny, in 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 high school, I was like a buck sixty, and I just remember him having me do tricep pull downs because like I I could show you a picture off off air, but like I have a picture of like me doing a layup, and like you could just see like just just flat, like yeah. just just straight flat, like there's no muscle to it. And I just remember him teaching me how to do the the tricep pull down with the ropes. Um, yeah, I didn't start to like maybe high school, but like I didn't like really get into. I didn't really get into lifting until college. Yeah, which okay. I kind of regret, especially for for college and and doing track because, yeah. like, if I had known to to like, I didn't know that lifting helped you run faster. Oh, really, I didn't know that either. Yeah, like, right. So like. I uh, I like I hindsight is twenty twenty, but like I, I wonder why they have big ass arms. They gotta propel themselves forward like that. Yeah, like <laughs> that's literally part of it, and like it was crazy. And I I wish I like in hindsight I knew that that was just beneficial for you. 
you know, to, to start lifting. And, like, I didn't know, like, you could lift in high school because it was always, you know, you hear those things like, oh, stunt your growth and, yeah, no, and that's this, bullshit. that, and the other thing. But, like, for anybody that's watching that is either young or whatever, like, you can start lifting in high school. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. It's not going to stunt your growth. You can do lightweight training in high school. So yeah. if you're in high school and you look like a toothpick like I did and him, hit the gym. Find a gym membership. Ask your school. Get in the gym. Right, yeah. I mean, you can start lifting, like, a little before that, too, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Especially if you play sports, like, you know, basketball, football, or anything like that. Like, my, my coach has always told me, you know, hey, like, in seventh and eighth grade, like, you know, hey, you're gonna gonna get banged around a lot in high school, you know. You think you gotta bulk up, you know what I mean? Especially in eighth grade, like, um, they got us ready for that. Even if you do body weight stuff, like you know your pull ups, you can do squats without weight. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, do stuff to try to build muscle. Yeah. Um, essentially, so yeah, eighth grade. I I wish I wish because mm -hmm. I definitely would have been a bigger beast on the court in high school but i got i was i was it was a buck 60 dude five nine yeah like weight, weightlifting definitely definitely like, like helped me in basketball like that, that was my top sport basketball same, um same. you know i i found that i um you know played better defense i got more rebounds um you know i i, I was able to get in the paint more yes i probably would have been it able helps. to dunk it Oh yeah, I my my first dunk was when I was like thirteen, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like okay, I, I was in gym class, and like I just decided to go for like like I had been working on my hops and everything. Yeah. I just decided to go for it one day because I've been trying for like a, a while, and I just got it. Dang. Yeah. I've only been able to dunk it. I've dunked it one time. I remember. I think I can't remember if it was during college. I feel like it was during college, which is probably like my peak of like lifting at the time yeah or if it was like just after college I can't remember i dunked it and then i went to try it again and then i went jumped like i can't remember if i actually dunked it but then i grabbed the rim and then did like the like my hand still on the rim but my yeah. body's going forward oh, and yeah. like let go and like landed on my arm Oof. fortunately nothing broke but definitely hurt like hell but that's like the only time that I've ever dunked it. And like, I'm still trying, like yeah. I jump boxes. I, I'm trying to get back into jump boxes at, at the gym now and trying to like, just, I'm like, I just want to do like at least like one more time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was also 5'10 at the time when I was 13. Oh, but sorry. then I, I, I couldn't, I, but then like, I couldn't do it again until I was like 15. I was like six feet, six one at the time. Mm. Yeah, see, I got stuck at 5'9". My dad was 6'6", six, six, and my mom was, like, is like 5'4", five, 5'3". Five, so I got, like, the middle ground, which I'm pissed. Because I'm like, dang, like, you couldn't put me at, like, an even 6. Like, it just, oh, like, because, again, like, just like you, like, I wanted to play in the NBA. Like, I wanted to play in the NBA. I wanted to make a career out of basketball. Like, I wanted to play. And then 5'9", yeah. just stayed at five nine yeah, jesus christ <laughs> and that was it and like just reality started to hit and, and you know in high school like i didn't go to like the best like basketball high school so like you're not gonna get noticed especially when you're five nine so i was like i think this might be it and then college they recruited me for track and i was like i think i'm making a career change i don't know but mm. or just major major sports was not in my in my plan and yeah. and then music kind of fell in and it's been music ever since yeah um it's crazy how how it works and how things just plan out and i think it, i mean for me i think everything happens for a reason i think sports didn't take off the way that they were supposed to because i i personally believe i was meant to do music because every time i even think about quitting or have quit just the itch just keeps coming it yeah. just keeps coming back and so it's you know it's just figuring it out trying to figure out like how to maneuver especially in this day and age uh of music and how to just really get out there and really show people like we're serious about it and you know we we're here to make 
quality music. It's not just, you know, like how you see it. Some artists are just out for the money and yeah, yeah. And obscuring themselves over in the back end, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Um So so we got like fit jeez, like so many different avenues and I I love like people that just like try to like immerse themselves in a lot of different things without like killing themselves like I yeah. do. Uh so like again like music, now we got fitness and then you just picked up photog well again I say just picked up <laughs> but so I apologize but like now like you've you've kind of immersed yourself into photography. Yeah, yeah. Like what what has that been for you? Is that like is that like for me like the, the reason I say that it's like I say this to kind of explain like for me like I'm I'm heavy into drawing and stuff is like another medium of not when I'm sick of music, but like right. when I just need like a break from music. Just like a, a, another like place to escape, like something yeah. like something else is creative. Yeah. That takes or is, your mind away from things. Yeah. yeah. Or is that something like you've all, like you've also had a passion about that, you know, you want to kind of dive deeper into? Yeah. I mean, it was a little of both, actually. I mean, I, you know, I, I have an iPhone. Like I, I've been taking like photos on that and shit. I've been wanting to, you know, dive into photography for years now. Just, I just didn't, uh, I don't know. I, I, I didn't want to get a camera because I, I was like too afraid to like, you know, drop the dough on it. But yeah. I, I, I finally got one and I, I've shot some good shots on it. And now I, now I want to like build a brand off it. So, okay. you know, it's something that's fun and, you know, why not uh, just fucking do it? <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> you know? see, just seeing it through the eye of yeah. life. Yeah. Seeing it through the eye of life. Right. Yeah, I've always... I've always had like a knack for photography. Like I like I like taking pictures, but I just like I never got into it. You right. know what I'm saying? Like if somebody like handed me a camera and was like, "Hey, like, go. like I remember like I used to take pictures all the time. Like whether it was like the 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 old school like swipe ones, the little square ones that you had to get developed, yeah. or you know, if someone gave me a camera, like I was always taking pictures and I took some pretty dope pictures. I yeah. think I'm a pretty solid photographer. My wife would say otherwise, but <laughs> well, that's only, you know, according to pictures that I take of her, apparently I take really bad pictures of her, whatever to each his own. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I just, you know, I, it was something that I just, I, I never like got into because again, I, for, for me, I think, you know, with, with music trying to pick up something well with music like there's so there's so many things you have to learn mm -hmm. and then to then for this is speaking to me personally like to then add photography and all the technical sides of that you know focus and uh, can't even be like i can't i can't even begin to like start like just talking about all the different terminology yeah. for that yeah like picking those things up because for again speaking for me when i pick when i pick something up and do something i want to learn how to do it to the best of my ability yeah and and master it yeah i'm that same way like with basketball like if if i'm shooting and my form is off like i'm like literally working on it till i figure it out like yeah. to me everything has a to me, everything has a, a system, like a, 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 a way of doing it. Yeah. In a sense, like it's weird, like a, almost like a formula, like your elbow is supposed to be like a certain, well, it's true, but you, you know, your elbow is supposed to be a certain way. Like you're supposed to jump at a certain time. You're supposed to release at a certain time. Like in my head, like that's how my brain works. So to pick up photography, you know, for me to pick up photography, it was like another one of those things. Like if I dive into it, like I have to give it like a hundred percent. Yeah. Like how is, how is like balancing, you know, kind of learning, learning photography, but then, you but know, then, obviously then juggling. Like music too. Um, yeah. I mean, basically like when I'm doing, <clears throat> like when I'm doing music, I'm not doing photography. If I'm doing, I'm doing photography when I'm not doing music, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just, work it in my schedule the way I don't know it just I don't know yeah there's, there's a lot of things I can't explain I just I just go and do it like you know um 
say if I have a show or something like that, like I can, I can always do like photography in the morning and, you know, you know, show at night or, you know, start off with like the studio and, you know, do photography afterward. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I I was, I was having, uh, the the last guest that we have, Mark Rivard, um, shout out to Mark Rivard, super dope dude. Um, who does art, you know, and, you know, we had the conversation of like, you, you, you have to have for your own mental health, I think, especially when you're like deep in some type of like, especially like deep into like some type of careers, you have to have like those outlets to just kind of take you away from whatever it is you're doing or else like you're literally going to like go insane. Right. Yeah. Like, and you know, for us, you know, cause I, I think we have a lot of similar things is like, like you have photography, I have, I do drawing, but then like, we also like have, fitness and like working out like hitting the gym like we we, for those that are watching like definitely try to find those you know we'll say it again again we talked about it with mark but like find those things that like allow you to just separate and like the more that you can add i think you know in 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 finding the time to do it like will just make you more successful right exactly and you know what why not why not turn it into a form of income too you know what i mean yeah yeah you know, it never hurts. Like, you know, don't take, like, don't add like 10 different things. Like you want to be a photographer and, and an artist and, you know, woodmaker and, and a sewer and yeah, shoe shiner. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, yeah. Like, don't like add like a bunch of things and be like, Oh, like I'm going to be so great for my mental health. No, you're going to like literally like kill yourself trying to do multiple things at once, but like find things that you are just really like, like passionate about. And, like, just set that time, you know, just like you said, like, set that time to to work on it and, like, master it and just get better at it. You know, just work at it, you know, and just have it as something where, you know, one is getting too much. Like, you can kind of bounce back and forth. I know for me, like, that's that's helped me so much where, you know, if I start getting too worked up in like music, like I can be like, yo, like I need to take a step back. Like, yeah. let me just draw. And then when, you know, drawing is either getting too frustrating because again, like I, I'm super critical of myself. I, you know, be like, all right, like tomorrow morning, like I'm hitting the gym, like just to let, you know, I can use, I can build up all the creativity and the frustration and whatever. Yeah. And then like, I can hit the gym and just like, let all that dissipate yeah. and let it just disappear. And then like, I can jump back into it, you know, you know, for us, you know, you got your nine to five and then you got music and then, you know, we have so many responsibilities. You got bills to pay. Bills to pay. You gotta go grocery shopping. <laughs> right. <laughs> I need fucking need gas now. You know. Yeah. I mean? gas fucking is going oil up. change. I I needed that yeah. today. <laughs> and gas is going up crazy too. But oh. like, you gotta. Again, we'll say it again. Like, and it's so important is like definitely focus on your mental health, and have those those outlets that you can do. You know, if if you know you may not be an artist or or you know, a weightlifter, but like go for walks, like find, find something. I, I I personally think like definitely find something physical to do. Um, just to release that energy. Hiking. Great. Hiking is super dope. You know? So if you, again, if you're not like one of those weightlifters or whatever, like you don't like to hit the gym, not, it's not for everybody, but like, again, find that physical activity, go biking, go hiking, you know, just find something to release that energy because a, a lot of the stuff that people do, like it builds up the energy, whether you're working, um, again, like, you know, for us, like working on music or another type of craft, like find just that source to be able to release that energy, meditating, like even like meditating, you know, even though it's not really like physical, physical, but just something to like calm your body down and just take a second to just take a step back from, from all of it. Yeah. Super important. So, like, definitely focus on your mental health. Again, we just tying in everything. We just talked about financial literacy too. Everything costs everything. Everything is expensive. Gas is going up, but it's a part of life, man. You just got to learn how to how to manage it all and figure it out. And you know, if, if you really want it, you'll find ways to do it. Like you said, like you know, if you pick up uh, photography, like you know 
find a way to make it a source of income. Yeah, exactly. And it's something you enjoy. Right, yeah. If anybody wants to tap into my music, if anybody wants to tap into my photography, you can follow me at Life on the Rise, L Y F E on the Rise on Instagram. And my photo that's my music page and my photography page is only one shot media. Only number one shot media. So yeah, and I am taking clients too. So if anybody is, you know, if you're if you're an artist and need photos at your shows, um, if you want portraits, anything, you know, hit me up. Yeah, support support the local people, man. You know, we're all just trying to find our way, trying to find, you know, trying to make it, you know, yeah. in, in something. And you know, you never know. I've I've always said this from the beginning, and this is why I started right mine. Is like you never know what someone is going to be able to provide for you unless you give them a chance. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, you know, I always search back on the music is like, you never know what an artist is like is capable of or can do. A lot of people just get written off. They're like, Oh no, like you've only been doing music for like a year. Like you don't know anything, but like, have you actually asked them what they can do? Yeah. Like you'd be surprised. So it's like, you know, even like someone who's, I use it loosely, quote unquote, like new to photography. Like you never know. Like you could take like the like the dopest photo that they've ever seen, and like that takes them. You know, maybe they're they're trying to be an actor or whatever. Some you know trying to do commercials, or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. But like you know, you know what I'm saying. Like you never know the domino effect that it can have. Of you know, you take that dope portrait picture, then they submit that to you know some agency, and then the agency is like, "Yo, this is dope. Like you're beautiful. Like you know, let's." put you in an ad and then that ad takes them into a movie and then you know what i'm saying like yeah. that it but you like pete you would have never known if like somebody didn't just be like hey like you know i'm, I'm gonna take a chance in you and just see yeah you know like what do you have like what what do you have you know for the for the for the outside person like what do you have to lose right like you know especially you know somebody starting out like just just you never know right like just give people so like just give people a chance whether it's their music and i know there's a lot of music out there but like give people a chance like check it out speaking from someone who makes music and also someone who is an avid listener of music like just get tune into people like I, i've expanded my music genre by just listening to different types of music the next one that i i, I still haven't dived into yet is k-pop which I, I've been told is like super dope, but I just haven't dived into it yet. Yeah. But I got to give it a chance. I got to at least try. And then, you know, maybe it's not for me. Maybe it is for me. Who knows? But it's just one of those things. Just You just got to give people a chance. You know, we're all trying to make something of our lives. You know, to just do something, you know, support, support your local people, man. Nike... Reebok, all those companies, they, they got enough money. Let's let's support the local businesses here. Um, but yeah, man, this has been super dope. Um, I'm glad you've been able to kind of digest a little bit about what you do, you know, the multiple facets that you have. Um, you know, before we wrap up, like what, you know, what are some things that people can kind of look forward to coming up from you, you know, end of this year, you know, jumping into a new year, like what do you, you got anything cooking up that you'd like to share, you know, anything that you want to plug? So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things coming up. Him and I have a collab album coming. Sneak peek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we ain't going to say nothing about that right now. But um, for me, I have an album coming uh, in 2022, and I also have an EP that might turn into an album. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, and I'm going to have a lot of singles in between. I'm always in the studio, always working. <laughs> um him and I are also performing this Saturday uh, at the Worthen Facts. in Lowell, um, no, no, December fourth. December fourth. You know, tap in with us. Um, yeah, get yourself to that. <laughs> yes, sir. Shout out to KNG Entertainment. It's their first show in in. It's their first show in general, um, and then I'm super psyched because it's in my hometown of Lowell. Uh, so. Worthen in Lowell, Mass, December 4th, 7 p.m., KNG Entertainment. We got Life, myself, Chemic No Gimmick, Soundwave, Hill Rye, and I apologize. I feel like there's one more in there. Or did I get them all? I think I got them all this time. 
I think that's everybody. Mm. I think you got it. Now I got to look. My apologies. <laughs> Hold on. Because I don't want to diss anybody. I don't want to miss anybody. And he said seven, but correction. Doors open at eight. Music at 830. Bet. Hold on. I don't want to miss anybody because crops. everybody matters. Crops. You Thank say crops. You. I did not say crops. Shout out to crops. My apologies. I have not met you, and there's no diss. It's all love. Um, it's all so. Shout out to crops. Um, yeah. So come come through um, and just have a good time. I gotta. I'm excited to share my set. I know you're excited to share your set. Oh, yeah, we will be posting a lot more about it on Instagram. What's your Instagram? So check out my Instagram, uh, J underscore Faith Official. Uh, if you want to say yours one more time, I know you mentioned it earlier, but as we wrap up, we always want to make sure that we are staying connected. It is posted on there, but make sure that we share it as well. And once again, my music page is Life on the Rise on Instagram, L-Y-F-E on the Rise. Check out my photography page as well. Only one shot media, only number one shot media. Word. So make sure you check it out. Make sure you subscribe, follow. We got YouTube instagram facebook all that fun stuff please show support for your local artists i also have wristbands for everybody so you know if you come to the show i'm gonna give you one for free let's go tune in stay tuned in i appreciate everyone that is tuned into this episode um again this is our first episode we've actually had somebody in person um so i want to thank life for coming in um and just having a simple conversation and just sharing different experiences and and ways that we can all grow in our experiences um make sure you like subscribe um to our youtube we are also on instagram as i stated at the top of this w r t m n d on instagram make sure you show some love if you're interested in being on the show um drop a comment um reach out to us um and we'll definitely get you on the show um we're always looking for new people to again just have some simple conversations um and just share some info but until next time uh, my name is right mind. Uh, my name is right mind. I can tell I'm tired. My name is Jay Faith. This is Right Mind Wednesday, and we will see you next time. What's up?